So today I'm gonna show you how I drastically improved my print quality by changing out the standard 8mm threaded rod with a proper lead screw on the z-axis of my 3D printer. So my problem was that this standard 8mm threaded rod isn't really precise at all. Oftentimes when the printer is supposed to move the z-axis by 0.2mm for example, it isn't quite 0.2mm, it maybe is 0.19 or something like that. And this results in these really ugly lines in the 3D prints every couple of layers. And so to correct that, I just bought a 8mm lead screw of AliExpress, which came with the two bearings, uh, coupling for the motor and the nut that is driving my arm right here. Now, as it is really similar to what I had before, I only had to print two adapter brackets, one of them up here to connect the bearing to my extrusion and the other one down here to connect the nut with my arm. These were pretty easy prints and I had them drawn in Fusion 360 within minutes. And then I went on to printing them. After that, while assembling, I noticed that it didn't quite fit as the part where the nut is supposed to connect to my arm wasn't quite big enough. I thought I had accounted for that, but apparently not, and so I just put in some wood as a spacer and connected it anyways. This turned out to work just fine. It doesn't look that good, but you aren't looking at that anyways. The motor was just able to stay where it is with the existing bracket as the spacing is just the same as with the threaded rod. And then next I only had to adjust the settings for the different slope that this lead screw has compared to the threaded rod. With that done, it was time for a test print. As you can see, the print turned out beautifully and it is a lot better than it was before. As you can see, the ugly lines that I told you about earlier are gone. The right model was printed before the upgrade and the left one after the upgrade. And you can see that the surface is a lot smoother and it looks a million times better. The left side is how a 3D print is supposed to look like. There still are some lines every like centimeter or so, but there are nowhere nearly as bad as they were before and you don't really see them at all. The only lines you can see are the layers and they are really fine. And I haven't seen such a clean print from myself in a long time. So this upgrade cost me maybe 10 to 20 dollars and it wasn't difficult at all either, and so it was really worth it. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe. I also have Twitter and Instagram handles that are linked down below where you can check out some behind the scenes footage. Thanks for watching and until next time.